Hi there, this is Jado, and in today's video what we're going to do is uh, take a look at replacing a texture in Cyberpunk using WolvenKit. We will get started by creating a new WolvenKit project. You can name the project however you like. Uh, for the location, just make sure it's not a protected folder, such as the game installation. If uh, you would like a suggestion, go ahead and use the user documents folder. That should work just fine. Next, we are going to rearrange the user interface to make sure all of the windows we need are visible during the project. We're looking for the file information, the import export tool, the asset browser, project explorer, and the log. All right, now we'll look for the texture that we'd like to modify. With the asset browser, Use the folder navigator on the left hand side to look for the folder that contains the texture we'd like to modify. Okay, we'll select the folder and then we'll move over to the file list and select the texture. You'll see the file information window updates here with the preview of the texture. That looks like the texture we want, so let's go ahead and double click that file and add that to our project. With the texture in our project, now we can navigate to the Import Export tool, select the XBM, and press Process Selected to export it. Now we've created a PNG that's visible within the Project Explorer, and we can modify that with image editing software. Double click the PNG to open using the System Default application, or use the yellow folder icon to use File Explorer and open with an editor of your choice. In this guide, I'm using Krita which is my favorite free and open source image editing software. Krita is geared towards painting, but it also features intuitive basic image editing operations. I highly recommend it. Feel free to modify the texture however you like. Just be sure the change is distinct, so it's easy to verify in-game. That looks good to me, so I'm just going to go ahead and hide the original texture layer, and then we'll go ahead and resave the PNG. If your image editing software has an option for transparency, make sure that's enabled. Save the file and let's return to WolvenKit. With the PNG selected, we can immediately see our modified texture within the preview window. Now we'll import our modified PNG by returning to the Import Export tool, selecting the Import view, selecting the PNG that we'd like to import, and pressing Load Settings. And finally, press the Process Selected button to overwrite the original XBM with our modified texture. The mod is now finished, so we'll navigate to the Build menu and press the Install button to create a new archive and automatically install to the game. All that's left to do is verify the mod works in-game. WolvenKit is able to launch Cyberpunk directly, but feel free to use a game launcher too. If the mod works, you'll immediately see that the band logo for Johnny's jacket has been replaced. If you don't have Johnny's jacket, feel free to check the description of this video for the item code which can be pasted into Cyber Engine Tweaks to manually add the jacket to your inventory. That's all I have for the guide. I hope you found it helpful. If you'd like to leave some feedback, feel free to use the comments. If you'd like to stay up to date with WolvenKit, check out the wiki in the description below, or maybe come find us on Discord. We are the Cyberpunk 2077 modding community. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you around, Tombs.